most of the people in the world have no clue what the government is doing to these magnificent animals. They just don't know. Buffalo are really the only animal that we know of in the United States that are required to live on a reservation. Our way of uh, surviving with these buffalo was to, they're everything. Food, tools, shelter. There was no piece of that buffalo that got wasted. Today it's not that way. They're penned in, they get shots, they get uh, slaughtered. They were put on this earth to wander the, the plains and the Rocky Mountains. They follow the weather pattern. I've seen them running a, a female buffalo who dropped a baby, a red dog, that morning. They're running that baby practically to death using horses and four-wheelers and, and trucks. I don't know how many miles. It'd be seven miles at least. Um, to get them back into the park. And by the time these babies are falling down, they, they're they not even a day old and they don't care. They don't care about that. The ranchers are scared to death. And what they held over the rancher's head was this idea that the state of Montana would lose its brucellosis free status, which would give all the livestock and the livestock growers in the state a black eye. The problem is, there has never been a documented case of wild bison to domestic cattle transmission, ever. They're killing wolves, they're killing coyotes, they're killing sage grouse, they're killing everything that might possibly compete with cows for the range. Brucello bordis is used as a tool. The primary reason is it gives APHIS, Animal Plant Health In Inspection Service, which is a division of USDA's Marketing and Regulatory Division. It gives them control from a disease factor over the wildlife in this respect. When buffalo leave the park, it's always the strongest ones that are at the front of the line, you know, plowing through the snow and those are always the first ones that they take, so they're completely threatening the genetic diversity of, of the Yellowstone buffalo. They love it, they dress up, Hollywood West, you know, all that, plaid shirt if you're a logger. I mean, it's all this sort of fantasy stuff that Hollywood put in people's brains that it's not real. You know, ranching in Montana isn't real. Now these ranches are huge, um, trying to produce stuff that the land can't sustain. And the reason of that is that's why they got to get rid of the buffalo. They're thinning them out. They're killing them off for no purpose so that cattle can be brought here. And they're blaming the buffalo for that. I mean, it was the first park in the world, right? Now there's thousands everywhere in the world. I mean, it's a great idea. People love parks. We're turning the parks into something that was never intended by eliminating all the possibilities around it and all the possibilities of how people will interact with the park. <laughs>